Hello guys, it's 10pro over here today I have a new video for you guys, I will be doing a budget build a liquid cooling system, actually it's a liquid cooling system alone, not including the other components of the PC so guys, stick around for my channel, like, rate and subscribe So guys, as I said in the beginning of this video, this is gonna be a tutorial, not a tutorial, but like an overview of like a budget gaming PC, not like a budget gaming, but like a water cooling system for under $220, including a case. So guys, we're kicking off the Antec P180 Super Mid Tower. It's an older case, but sufficiently roomy. Pretty much any case will do, but keep your space constraints in mind. You need plenty of room for your components. So for a radiator, I'm using a 360mm radiator uh, with my build. It can support up to, uh, sorry, it can support up to uh, like three, three, three 120mm fans. That's gonna keep the like the solid, like the liquid really cool and the radiator is really good because it's big and has a lot of space. For the CPU water block, water block, I'm using a Danger Dan MC, MC DTX. Because of the fins inside it, it increases the surface area, making coolant uh, cooling more uh, efficient. For a reservoir, I'm using for a reservoir, I'm using a XSPC. It's a 5.25 inch bay, so it basically goes like where your CFD drive goes. And this is a really good reservoir with a lot of liquid space. And for a pump, I'm using a Danger Den DDCPX1. It's a really good pump, low efficiency, uh, like high efficiency between like uh, pressure inside the tubes and like a uh, uh, watt consumption, so you can keep running all the time. For fittings, I'm using a standard uh, one half inch, half inch uh, fittings for all my components. And for tubing, I'm using a Disley, uh, like there's a there could be any other tubing in the market. I'm actually just using this generic one over here. That has the size uh, a little bit smaller, so it actually can fit and stick to the thing, to the thick things. And for my cooling device, like not cooling device, but like cooling liquid, I'm using the most simple thing in the world. I'm using distilled water. Basically, what distilled water is, is like simple cooling system. Uh, actually, it's like you don't have to maintain it a lot. Just have to change it like once every month. It's a really good system. So guys, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe for my videos and for my channel. And guys, I'll be out with the next video.